Today we're opening a 20 year old tin of Pokemon cards worth over $1,000. We're also continuing the search for some missing chase cards of specific sets. Hopefully we pull at least one so we can complete the set. Otherwise, I got something y'all are gonna like a lot. That would be this. It is a base set Venusaur pack art blister pack. Going to one of y'all at home. Now do the following and listen carefully. Subscribe to this channel. Leave a like on this video. Last but not least, comment in the comment section below if you can build the ultimate Pokemon team to battle. Who would be on your team? What Pokemon would be on your team? Let me know in the comment section below for a chance at this pack. We have the tin. An EX Collector's Tin from the year 2003. Why is this tin significant? Well, one, it holds the following. Ruby and Sapphire Booster Packs. That was way back when, after Wizards of the Coast lost the license, Pokemon and Nintendo took printing Pokemon cards in-house, making Pokemon USA and Nintendo, of course, and thus, EX cards were born. So we have hacks. We have never before seen foil cards all in, in this lovely tin. Yes, it's been through the ringer. It's got some rust on it as well. It was in an older collection, but I'm very happy to open up this tin. Now, as we begin the first modern opening, that would be, we only have several packs of each of these sets, starting off with Brilliant Stars. Let us commence the opening. You will have seen, as I put this over here, you will have seen missing cards from each of these sets pop up on screen. We begin, to make sure it's recording, and then Psychic Energy. All right, so we got Brilliant Stars right now. I've already pulled all the Charizards, but there are still cards that I need to pull if I wanna get a master set of these specific sets. And I only have a few. Not all of them have four packs, some have less. One has a bit more because, and I'll tell you why, Water Energy. Like, do y'all have specific chase cards, whether they're ultra rares or anything, that you just haven't pulled. Well, that would be all of these packs that I'm opening up today. As we get a Luminion V Alt Art. My goodness. I wanna be frank with y'all. I had absolutely no idea this card was even in the set. This is a underrated card, my goodness. And beautiful nonetheless. Well, there we go. That was not one of the, I mean, technically that, yes, that was a missing card. It was not one of the main ones that I was trying to pull, but I will take it. What? Well, the marker's in the wrong place. So we're just gonna go ahead and as we get an auxiliary trainer gallery and a Garchomp, my goodness. The V-Star marker there was not in the right place. Usually it's, you know, I do the card trick and then it's there. Uh, so let's get back to it, Leaf Energy. Well, this one's also not right, unless I did, yeah, that's weird, that's weird. Is there even a rare in this? Yeah, there's the rare. All right, let's be done with those. Now, before we continue with the next set, I have a very, very special shout out I'd like to make. That would be, if you are searching for a safe place to buy, whether it's modern product for Pokemon cards, even Yu-Gi-Oh and some magic, or of course, vintage product, even including stuff like the following, well, you can go check out rarecandy.com. But specifically, if you're looking to meet other like-minded enthusiasts in the Pokemon card game and even Yu-Gi-Oh! and the other TCGs, please, 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 guys, go check out the Rare Candy Discord. There will be a link on screen, but most importantly, in the description below. Please go check it out. There's weekly events with the community that are on the Discord. It's absolutely free to join the Discord. I believe there's over, like, 20-ish thousand people that are already part of the Discord, but it also lets you know of fun events that take place. There's places 
to buy, sell, and train on there as well. You can just meet other like-minded people that are passionate about Pokemon. It's moderated. It's a fun, safe place to be. And we also let you know of certain drops that go on on Rare Candy itself, whether you have the app or just the website. So please, guys, go check out Say Leonhard Sent Me and say hello to the beautiful community that is the Rare Candy Discord. So let's get into the next set. You know this was gonna be part of it, my friends. Vivid Voltage, Hyper Rare Leon, Pikachu V. The one with the pink and purple background, Psychic Energy, and we get a big old patch on back. Well, will that translate to actually pulling? One of the cars we want to pull, probably not. That's okay. Y'all really enjoyed, by the way, why I'm doing this combo of vintage and new. One, water energy. I love both, obviously, but you get the best of both worlds when you come watch a video. And I did a video like this last time, which you should actually go watch if you haven't. I opened up a heavy first edition base set English pack in my previous video. And we did pull a holographic first edition card. Yes, the original base set, Leaf Energy, like the one you see over here that I'm giving to one of y'all at random. Uh, that was a lot of fun, but I, you know, y'all enjoyed the aspect of Toucan Sam! He stole his Fruit Loops, of trying to go for those missing chase cards. And really, you know, don't have too many of each pack, Leaf Energy. So the odds of actually Pulling one of those is extremely rare, but this is Vivid Voltage. It has been how many years? So we get an Electrode Holographic and a Flareon. How many years and I still haven't pulled either of those two and the Hyper Rare Leon is my car, guys. I know, fighting energy, it's crazy. But I like doing these combos so I can try to knock, uh, is it two birds with one stone. But let's move on to the next set. We have Astral Radiance, which don't let it fool you. There are some magnificent cards that is in Astral Radiance. No guess the energy. We got a V-Star marker. Scarlet and Violet openings will be coming up in the semi near future, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, really, really excited for what's coming up on this channel. Fighting energy, I will be doing Another guess that grade. If you don't know what that is, it's basically submitting cards, whether they're in mint condition or extremely poor condition. And actually us guessing and revealing the grade that we're gonna get on those. It's been a series that I've done for years now on the channel and the new episode will be coming up, Fighting Energy, likely this weekend, specifically on Sunday, most likely. So definitely stay tuned for that as we still have, I mean, we've gotten the Luminion V, from Brilliant Stars, beautiful card, beautiful card. Um, nothing else since then, just some hollows, fighting energy. Let's see if this Astral Radiance pack, and then we're moving on to the next set, which I'm very excited for. I mean, excited about all these sets as we get a Leafy on. And then we, there, there, there was that. All right, guys, Lost Origin. We only got four packs of it. And then the rest after that, we just got two packs of each. Let's go with Psychic Energy and see if we can get one of these missing cards as we get that lovely Pikachu. Uh, missing cards for my master sets. And a master set is just getting one of each card to complete that set, which is very hard to do when you're just trying to pull it, fighting energy, much less trying to pull it on camera as well, which is why I primarily do all my openings just on camera. I never really like, I can't open something off camera or it's not gonna count. Uh, just so we can all try to do it as a community together. Water energy. I've also not gotten another guess the energy in a while. What is going on here? Ghastly. Hopefully this has been in focus for y'all. I believe it is. Murkrow. Mimikyu. Well, it's an ultra rare, an Aerodactyl V. So I will put that in the pile. But of course, it's one that we've already pulled before. So it's nothing too, too crazy. Metal energy. Thought I was gonna say water energy, didn't ya? Torkoal's got the good stuff. Shoop, there it is. Growlithe, Seedra, cool looking card. And Trevenant, it's not Halloween yet. Just a few more packs. Got Silver Tempest, now we have pulled the Lugia, but there are several cards that we still need to pull, fighting energy, or ones that we're frankly just gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, not even know that is in the set or get reminded of by pulling it now. I think that was a reverse rare, but nothing too on there. So this is the final Silver Tempest pack. 
Let's see what we can do. Psychic energy. Well, there is something at the back of this. Will it be one of the big ones? It is, wait, a Milotic, which we've pulled, and a Superior V. A little perfect pack there. And then we're finishing off the modern packs with a very fun set, Evolving Skies. People have been seeing uh, new stocks of Evolving Skies fighting energy at their stores, whether it's Walmart or, yeah, Walmart or dollar stores. And uh, if you do, good luck, because there is a Jolteon V. I'll take it. I'll take it. A Jolteon V. Love, love, love Jolteon. Let's get into this Evolving Skies pack. Psychic energy, and there we go, come full circle. I think we got the first psych the first guess the energy was psychic, and the last one. Eevee, Psyduck, Drowsy, and a Reggie Drago. Two hits. I'll take it. We got the 10 coming up now. Simple reminder, this is going to one of y'all. Subscribe, leave a like, let me know what's your ultimate Pokemon team. All right, let's just go down here. The area where it was already and all the, all the dirtiness from this and this wherever it was sitting for years is coming off now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's cool. I love the tin itself. There's that, Put this here. There's the sticker of the never before seen foil cards. Oh, I forgot. It comes with this. We're gonna have to take this on the main camera just so you can see. This is actually really cool how they display uh, not just the Pokemon, if I can actually get this. The, the Pokemon itself, look at that. So you can see all the Pokemon that, that come on there. And then on the back is the actual way to manage your collection. I know, it's a really, really cool way as they have EX Sandstorm, EX Ruby and Sapphire, more on Sandstorm a bit later and it shows you actually some of the, uh, like, the ultra rares. Whoa, as I hit that. I have one of these already, so I wanna make sure that y'all can actually see this. Mewtwo EX, I'll tell you what guys, I opened up a Ruby Sapphire booster box recently. I actually just posted one of the YouTube shorts, which y'all can go watch my YouTube shorts if you haven't. It was an error box. Basically, I was pulling an ultra rare in almost every single other pack, including multiple of all the ultra rares. We pulled every ultra rare, except the Electabuzz, I believe. Anyway, those are those. There's a rare candy. That's so cool. There's a rare candy card. And then there are some of the ultra rares that we would love to pull. There's also some evolution hollows in that. Then we're getting to the exclusive cards. I believe the other one is a Meowth, but we will do our best to keep these in good condition. I like it that they're sealed actually. Look how beautiful these cards are. So we have a Pikachu. It has the e-reader symbol on it so you can scan it with the peripheral for Game Boy Advance. And then we have a very cute Meow. They've been warped a little, but nothing too crazy. And just so we can see the back condition of the cards, they're in very nice condition. So I'll put those over yonder. We got packs. We got packs. Should be three Ruby Sapphire. All the artworks or almost all of them. And then we have some Darude EX Sandstorm. So let's go with EX Ruby Sapphire. And I believe that is it, nothing else in there. So we got EX Ruby Sapphire. What more can be said about the very first pack that Pokemon in-house started to print. Like I said, U2 EX is probably the best one other than my personal favorite is Scyther. So that would be nice. Oh wait, was this nine? Yeah, so I guess it's, I think it's just two cards. I don't know if these earlier sets were different. Yes, they were. So I'm not gonna do a card trick later on. Cause wow, look at that. Is that the reverse? A reverse rare rainbow energy. I'll take it, absolutely. And then we have a Sceptile, which is the rare. Okay, I'm just gonna open them willy-nilly next time, but we got a Sceptile. Got it, can't get a Sceptile without a Trico. Skitty, put some Skitty on that. Kafifi, pooch. What? Are you kidding me? I am so confused. We just pulled my favorite card from the set. Are you kidding me? The Scyther EX! Oh my gosh! How did we get... Oh, uh, was it like that in the box, I think, where you get a non holo rare and an ultra rare? My goodness! This is in great condition. This is in really good condition. I may have to get this graded. A Scyther EX. 
just like that, we have the reverse rare rainbow energy. And then we had a non-holographic. I'm sorry, I didn't get to Mighty Yenna. We got the whole line right here. What a pack. All right, let's move on to EX Sandstorm. Uh, Flareon and a Jolteon holographic would be very nice if we don't get an ultra rare, which at this point, I'll take it. Between the Pikachu promo and the Meowth promo, uh, this has been great. I'm not gonna do the card trick for this one, so just kind of stay tuned. There's only nine cards, printing issues. Sand and money issues. The Soich for more money. A cute Eevee. A Meryl. Shroomish. Everybody, if you've been a fan of the channel for a while, say it with me. Natu, how do you do? I love this specific Natu as well. Azumarill. Card art for this set has been fantastic. Why not? Hopefully I haven't skipped the rare. The reverse is a no way! I'm having too much fun with today's opening, but you gotta say it with me, guys. Natu, how do you do? And a beautiful gold duck. I'll take it even for a non holo. All right, we have more. Let us go with the next Ruby and Sapphire. I mean, uh, this has already been a winning 10 with pulling a Natu, much less the size 30 action stuff. You ready? Let us begin. Can we get another EX? Skitty. Maybe that Ruby and Sapphire is just my set, especially opening up that error box. Poochiena, Makuhita, Vigoroth, creepy looking Pokemon. Slack off, a bit less creepier, but just lazy. The reverse is an Electrike. Very nice looking card. And a Blaziken. I feel like I pull this Blaziken every time. A Blaziken non-holographic. All right, let's go with the final EX Sandstorm. It'd be very nice to get a great pull or even a, some sort of hit from Sandstorm so we can showcase uh, these great sets with y'all. And we begin. Iran, a trap card, Shroomish, Cacnea. No way! A Raichu EX! That is insane! All right, I'm putting this here because we'll sleeve it up in a, sh in a sec. What we gotta check out, the Delcaddy. A Jolteon Reverse Rare! And a Vaporeon with some beautiful artwork. So we have just gotten, as we get a Jolteon Reverse Rare, and then we have a, like, I, I'm speechless right now. Absolutely speechless that we have gotten as good of hits as we have gotten. A Scyther, a Raichu, and now we're down to one. Final pack of the EX Collector's Tip. As soon as you're done watching this, check out that first edition base set opening from recently, but we have a Carvana na na na. Yep, that's gonna be stuck in y'all's head now. Namel, Torchic. I thought that was like a hidden Pokemon there, so some berries. Betty. Energy. Skitty. Can we get some? Last pack magic. A Makuhita and a Bloom. All right, guys, right above me is the video. Go check it out now. Stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll see y'all in the next video.